All right then, so now we have functions set up inside our application, we can go ahead and create our very first cloud function. So open up your functions folder and go into index.js and this is where we're going to create our cloud functions. So first of all, at the top, we're importing this module. And remember, all of this code, this is all going to be running on Firebase server, not in the browser. So Firebase is going to take that code and it's going to run it on their server. So first of all, it's requiring the Firebase functions module because we access different properties and methods on this functions module. That's how we create these cloud functions because there's many different types of functions. Now they give us a dummy one right here. I'm gonna uncomment this. And this is a HTTPS on request function. And that basically means that we can request this function to be run via a HTTPS request. And we'll see exactly what that looks like in a minute. Now, for each function that we create, we attach it to the exports object right here. So what we're doing here is creating a function called hello world. And we're setting that equal to functions, which we just imported at the top. Then we're accessing the HTTPS on functions. Then we're saying on request. So this is a type of function, a function that we can request. Now, when we receive that request on the Firebase server, we take the request object and we take the response object as well. So we can do things with these if we like. Now, we're not doing anything with the request at the minute. We're just sending a response. So if you've ever worked with Node.js before, this kind of code is gonna look very familiar, especially if you've worked with Express, because in Express, we send a response when we get a request, and we're doing the same kind of thing here. So at the minute, all we're doing is sending this response, hello from Firebase. So let's just change this to hello ninjas. And then what we're gonna do is deploy this cloud function. So to deploy it, all we need to do is down here, say Firebase deploy. And then we don't want to deploy our whole application, including this stuff. All we want to do is deploy our functions. So to do that, we can say double dash only and then functions. So this will only then deploy our cloud functions to Firebase over here. So press enter now to do that. And then that there, my friend, has created and deployed our very first cloud function. Cool. So it's saying here, we can run this function via this URL. So all of this stuff and then forward slash hello world. So this is what I mean by it runs the function on request. It's like an endpoint to run the function. As soon as we go to this URL, it's going to run this function and send this response. So why don't we go to this? I'm going to control click this to see in a browser. And then we should see this. Hello, ninjas. This is the response sent to the browser. So you should be able to see that there. OK, so we request the function. It runs the function on Google servers and sends this response to the browser. So that's the basics of Google Cloud Functions right there. And if we have a look over here inside the Functions tab and just refresh, we should see that function right here inside this tab. You see, hello world, and the type of trigger, the trigger is a HTTP request going to this URL right here. Now, if we go to logs, then you should see every time that function runs logged here. And it might take a minute or two just to update but then eventually it will show you every time you run your function. Okay, so you can see right here, the function execution started. That's when we requested this thing. All right, so that is how we can create and deploy a very simple function. Obviously, for our application, we're not gonna be doing something like this. Instead, what we'll be doing is a notification system so that when someone signs up or creates a new project or something, a user gets a real-time notification over here and it updates this panel. So our trigger is not gonna be going to a URL, an endpoint, but instead our trigger is gonna be when someone adds a new project or when someone signs up. So it's a different kind of cloud function. And we're gonna start that process in the very next video.